Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Vintage Fern. My name is Lauren, and today we have another Thread Up unboxing. We have 25 pairs of shoes, and I believe it was $120 with free shipping for all 25 pairs of shoes. If you haven't checked out my first video, go ahead and check it out. Um, in my opinion, it was a really good box, so I'm kind of nervous for this one because I ordered it right after and I hope I didn't push my luck, so I'm really hoping that this is a good box as well. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I did already um, cut it open, but I did not look inside yet. I have this really big box and you can see I haven't taken off the tissue yet. So I'm going to move this aside a little bit. The invoice, 25 pairs for 120. Okay, so they did not wrap the shoes individually, which my last box they didn't either, um, which is okay. The only thing that's just kind of annoying is some of the heels. Like if there's a pair of heels in there, they can scratch other pairs of shoes. Um, so I kind of wish they would wrap them, but what do you expect for, I guess, a rescue box? So I'm going to try and grab pairs. I grabbed, okay. So these are Sorel. So, and I'm in my dining room right now. Um, usually I do my videos down in my office, but my daughter's taking a nap, so I thought this would be a different scenery as well. So, okay, so these are size nine, and these are Sorel um, slide-ons, and it's kind of like velvet um, and then a leather. They look really good condition. I would say almost new without tags, because the sole too, it, it's not worn down at all. So awesome. I like those. I didn't even know Sorel made sandals. Next, we have aerosols, which I feel like is sold at like, I don't know, Kohl's or Payless or something. Um, this is really annoying. Um, so yeah, so these are wedges and they lace up. These also look like new without tags. Really good condition. I'm guessing that thread up just didn't take them for the brand, but here they are. I actually think I might move this box just beside me, that way it's not in the way and I don't want to like stand up and sit down. Okay, next we have Johnny Beanie flats. Um, they are kind of worn. The bottoms are just kind of gross, like it looks like probably the price sticker made it sticky and things stuck to them, but otherwise the bottoms don't look bad because it still has like the size sticker, but they're just like kind of cracked and peeling inside. So I don't really know what I'll do with these. They are all leather. So that's interesting why they're cracking and peeling. But, I mean, they're cute. They're a little white and nude flat with a little bow. Okay, next we have Clark's Cushion Soft. Um, kind of an Esperdell, like, little slide-on shoe. These look to be, like, a pretty big size. Size 10. These are in pretty good condition as well. They're not rubbed down at all in there. But the bottoms could use a little bit of cleaning. Okay, I bet I can guess this brand already. So in my last video, I had a pair of these Z Alexis, like slingback clog type things, and they had the same design. And these again are like brand new. These are cuter though. They're like kind of like little booties, but. I don't understand this. It's like plastic, little wave to it. Um, so I don't know if they like thread up bought like a liquidation thing from this brand. Like I've never I've even heard of this brand before. But yeah, they're just all like textile. So no special like leather or anything. But yeah, these are Z Alexis. Don't know what thread up has going on with them, but it's okay. These are 
really cute little like booties with the snake skin. Feels like they're kind of peeling off though. And I'm trying to see what brand this is. Repins collection maybe? It's hard to read it. So this will have to take a little bit of research, but I mean they seem like nice. They're must be European because they're size 39. And I don't know if this is like supposed to be kind of textured because it's not really coming off or anything. But and that really cute buckle detail. So yeah, these are really cute. I just don't know what brand and if they really are a brand, I guess. But those are in pretty good condition. Okay, next we have J. Crew um, little wraparound sandal heels. They're like kind of that brown velvet. These are in pretty good condition. You can see the soles. Just when it's that leather, it really looks extra worn. And then you can see the toes are kind of miscolored. These are a size 7, but J. Crew must kind of wrap around somehow. Um, I'll definitely have to try and find a stock photo so I can see how they're really supposed to look. But it's all leather. So yeah, those are really cute. Oh my. So I got a pair of teaks. These are size 13. I don't think I have anything in size 13. Um, but yeah, they're just this brown little camel color. So I don't think I've ever even like seen a pair of teaks in real person, but they seem to be really good condition. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's like the foldable, if they're all like this. So sorry if this is just dumb of me, but it's a little like not cracked like when you stretch it out it looks better but then like right there it's like I guess creased so I don't know if they're supposed to be like that but otherwise these look really good um, just a size 13 so that could take quite a while a while to sell but that's awesome I got a pair of teaks Okay, next I have a pair of Corkies. So Corkies is a really, um, it's become a lot more popular. I just know about Corkies because working in retail, um, I knew that the, this line of shoes is just like a really cute line of shoes, but it's made for comfort. Um, their shoes are pretty expensive, um, you know, 100 to $200 depending on the style. So these would be on the lower end. Ow, <laughs> strap hit me. Because they're a sandal. But these are really awesome condition in my opinion. You can see the soles. And then this is what, just so you guys have a reference, this is what the Corky's looks like. So yeah, this um, goes on the ankle and then this wraps around and they'd be all leather I'm pretty sure, just cause I know they're a good brand. Yep, leather upper and lining. Um, so yeah, awesome, a pair of Corky's. And these aren't like brand new condition by any means. You can tell the toe was a little worn, um, but really good condition in my opinion. Okay, next we have a pair of bear traps, um, just a little slip on. I mean, these are like really good condition, but obviously bear traps isn't a great, amazing brand. I think that they do pretty well with quality, but they're just kind of a lower end, like sold at Kohl's or whatever brand, um, but it, it's suede. Don't know if it's genuine. It's all man-made and textile. These are a size eight though, but it has kind of the eyelet um, laser cut detailing. So, I mean, these will sell, especially this season right now. These are a good little flap. Okay, next I have a pair of Just Fab. Um, sandals, um, not a big fan of this brand, but these are really cute. They have these little tassels, which hopefully will flatten out. Um, but these seem to be pretty good condition. I can probably clean up the soles, but you can see like they're just not a great quality. Like they're just super flat um, sandal. 
but definitely a little fashion sandal. Cute. I think those are about a size eight. The sticker is worn off. Okay, next we have a pair of birdies. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I know this brand. But I don't know. So I don't know if I'm dumb. Like, is this a good brand or not? I mean, they feel like really good quality. I've like heard of it. But these are a little, um, a little dirt on them. But otherwise, like you can see really good condition. But these are a little slip on. Um, I'm forgetting what this type of shoe is called. Um, a little oh what's it called a little loafer thing um i know there's a different word but it's not coming to me and it will right after i finish my video because that's how it goes but it has this really fun little gold pom-pom tassel thing and there are quite a few scuffs on them like the toe and then like over here but i'm kind of thinking it might just be from the way they were put in the box but maybe it came like that and that's why thread up didn't want them but i don't know these are really fun like they're not my style but they're, they're cute in their own way, I guess. Okay. Next we have these boots. I'm trying to see what brand they are. I don't know. I'm not seeing a brand on them. They say they're made in Spain. Eight and a half, all leather. Um, I don't know. This might take some research because I honestly have no idea. I don't see a logo. Oh. It's really worn. Maybe it's just guess? I guess this kind of looks like a guess older style boot. But it has this large heel and the square toe and then that studding detail. So yeah, I'll try and see if I can figure out if that really is gas. It's just really warm to even see in the bottoms as you can tell. Can't see. But I mean, these wouldn't be big bucks just because of their condition. And since I'm not for sure the brand, but they're cute and they're different. So they're definitely unique. Okay, and then we have a pair of Treasure and Bond. I'm not familiar with this brand either. Leather upper, balance, man-made material, size nine. And synthetic, something some synthetic as well. So I don't know if this is just kind of like, Treasure and Bond sounds like, um, like a Macy's or kind of maybe a, even a lower end department store brand, but I'm not sure. But these are cute and really good condition. I'll have to research that. Next, we have a pair of Mark Fisher sandals. Cool. I'm really excited about this box. I'm already thinking about ordering another one. So we'll see. My husband will probably kill me. Um, but yeah, these are, I think, red. Kind of an orangish red partial gladiator maybe in the tie up you can tell they've been worn but otherwise look pretty good condition so cute not the season for it but they're really cute and they have little gold like bullet eyelets or plastic thing whatever it's called okay next we have a pair of muse in cloud, must in cloud, M U S S E, in cloud, upper leather, lining leather. They spelled leather wrong. <laughs> so I have not heard of this brand either. Oops. Um, but these look pretty good condition. Um, I mean, they're nice quality, so I don't know why I haven't heard of that brand but I just kind of feel like it might just be like a Nordstrom brand or something but they're cut out um, and then the back looks like that but yeah really good condition super cute 
than my aunt though. So. Next, another, so I wonder if they did, so Muss and Cloud made in Spain. Really cute, and look, these are like brand new. And they have this little um, circle metal cutout detail. Yeah, so, huh. I'll definitely be researching this brand, like I said. Here's the other one. I kind of want these for myself. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if ThreadUp also kind of made a deal with them, just since it's two of the same brand, or I mean, maybe it's just a coincidence. Another one? <laughs> I can just tell right away because it has the M and C right there. But yeah, these are perfect condition. It's interesting because you say size 9, and then the first one said size 8, but then those black booties that I just, re just had up said size 40. So that's just interesting that it's not, you know, like all numbers, like how we have it, or the European with 39 or 40. So interesting, but yeah, these are really cute. Double zipper, tan little zigzag detail, brand new, size 9, and I guess they do have your European 40 in there, so maybe one's just older and just has the sizing different, I don't know. Next, we have, call it Spring, which oh, I know that brand. It's Kohl's, something like that, but these are brand new chunky glitter heel boot so these won't be worth a lot just because it is a lower brand um, made in china size eight but perfect condition perfect for the season really cute with that chunky glitter heel so it looks like we just have a few more pairs these are madden girl wedges um have that gold and brown Really good condition. What size are you? Size eight and a half. And I love how Steve Madden and Madden Girl brands have the style number right in there. So I don't know if you can see, but it's Kippy. So I'll be able to easily look up comps for these and then also hopefully find a stock photo. Yeah, cute, really good condition, like I said. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised again with the condition. Everything is just Seems to be really good condition for the most part. Faded Glory, knockoff Toms. So these are just Walmart, um, free donate. Not excited about those, but it's okay. Next we have Andre Aceos, made in Spain. Espradillo wedges, um, really good condition, size 10. Kind of this brassy copper um, elastic yeah it's all elastic the strapping yeah, made in Spain so I haven't heard of this brand either and then I don't know it's that strap I'm hoping I can clean up that it's not like stained or ruined but otherwise really good condition look like maybe just worn a couple times Next we have Blowfish, um, little seven and a half, little pink slide on shoes. Um, Blowfish is, I don't know, I see it a lot, like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, and you can see this is probably where it was sold since it still has that in there. Um, Seem to be really good condition. We have some scuffing that hopefully a magic eraser will take off. And then they make the bottoms of these kind of shoes with this like, felty fabric and I remember I had a pair similar to these in like middle school and the first time I wore them I slipped and fell at school on the like tiles because it's so soft like I literally just like fell one of my embarrassing moments in middle school but um yeah otherwise they look really good condition I mean maybe 10 15 dollars if that Okay, then we have Ann Klein AK Sport. These also are really good condition. I've worn a couple times. 
you have this kind of foam wedge and then crisscross elastic just slip on um, so yeah not super exciting but they're good condition so they'll be a little something and then our last pair are Nike Elite TRs I, I just don't know a lot about Nike <laughs> So um, I think that's how what it said, but it's kind of this like rougher like fabric, and then it's like that. You know how they do that like elastic, but still lace up. But yeah, these are in really good condition. I'm fine. Here we are, size nine. So hopefully I can look these up. Let's see. But yeah, that is it. That's all 25 pairs. I'll probably double check and count them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to order another box just because I know I'll make my money back. Unfortunately, no fry boots or I had Kate Spade, Tory Perch last time. But yeah, I'm excited though with the shoes and the pair of teaks, even though they're a very large size. I'm still really excited that I got a pair of teaks. And yeah, I'll have to do research on all of these MNC shoes. Muse and Cloud. So, yeah, I'll do some research on that. And thanks for watching. If you'd like $10 to use on your first purchase on ThreadUp, uh, just click on the link in the comments. Um, and be sure to check out my Poshmark closet. And I'll leave $10 for you to spend there on Poshmark if you haven't signed up yet. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for the next box because. Apparently I'm addicted. <laughs> Bye guys.